What's up guys, today I wanted to talk about the recently announced Life is Strange double exposure. In the moment I seen that this was going to be a Max game, I automatically assumed that it would be a very polarizing decision to bring Max back after the way the original game ended. Then I started looking around online to see kind of what the vibe was on this game, and it was a bit 50-50, but overall I think people were and still are excited about it. But what gets me is that the main topic for most fans concerning this game isn't the usual stuff like like, what's the plot? When's the game releasing? We know most of that stuff, but really all the talk is about where's Chloe? She's not in the trailer for the game, and the game is Max-centered. Personally, I've always felt like you can't really have Max without Chloe. Their lives and fates are so intertwined from the first game. We know the game's a supernatural murder mystery, they're calling it, and it takes place in Kaladin University, and Max's new best friend Safi gets killed. That's basically all they've given us when it comes to trailers and gameplay so far. So I've done a little looking around on what the developers have said because fans have been just hassling them on the Chloe question and Deck9 hasn't really given a definitive answer on this yet. One thing we do know is that Max doesn't have her rewind power anymore. She now just has some sort of timeline shifting power instead. Not really sure why they felt the need to replace the rewind. I thought that was always the most memorable one from all of the games. But regardless, she has a timeline shifting power in this game now where she's supposed to shift into a new timeline to save Safi from her death, which reminds me so much of just Max in the original game just rewinding time and saving Chloe from dying a million times in like three days. Seriously, that girl was destined to die that week. There is this one moment of gameplay we've seen that had a seriously pissed off fans of the game, and it's this bit of dialogue. Safi basically asks Max, like, what's up with Chloe? Like, who is she and what were you? And the choices are we were just friends or we were high school sweethearts. The word is obviously in past tense, as this is taking place in the timeline in which Max sacrifices Chloe to save the bay. This choice is definitely going to be at the start of the game, I think, and it should have some sort of impact later. But we know Safi is going to die in this timeline too, so I think it's safe to say once Max shifts into the other timeline, it'll be the one where she saved Chloe. Now, I know we're all hoping Chloe does have a part in this game, and it's not just like a text or something. That'd be really lame for Deck Nine to do that. And it'd be just as lame if they just left Max and Chloe's relationship at just oh, we were friends or whatever, but now we've moved on. Like, no, you don't just move on from each other after everything that happened and all that history. It's a bit insulting to Don't Nod's game if they do that, to be honest. But I do have confidence that's not what's happening here. The narrative director of the game responded to a tweet saying, just tell me Chloe is alive. And she responded with, you tell me with a smiley face, which is obviously hinting that the decision is going to be ours. It'll probably be like Life is Strange 2, where if you remember, they ask you before you start, did you choose to save the Bay or Chloe? I imagine it'll be something similar here, and this tweet is alluding to that. So I think we can all calm down, like they're not just going to forget Chloe exists. Deck 9 isn't that stupid, and this game has to be a hit for them, as they've been a bit hit or miss lately with the games they've been putting out. Another bit of proof I have is years ago on Reddit, this game was actually leaked. And in that leak, they talked about how Chloe could make an appearance if you chose so. I also wonder if that is going to be a thing later in the game, and will we see other characters if you didn't choose that option? Like, could we see Warren, or Kate, or even Joyce or David again? Imagine if we saw Mr. Jefferson, Max would be so pissed. They totally gotta have that be like a nightmare sequence at least once, where Max wakes up in class again, and it's like that one from the original game, that would be so funny. But yeah, I think that's all I really have on this for now. Unless we get some other type of confirmation or news before the game drops on October 15th or two weeks later if you're not buying the early access. Which can I just mention is so stupid for a narrative story game. Like basically here, buy this for an extra 50 bucks just so you don't get spoiled on the story. They'll probably be really cruel about it too and put that Chloe appearance as the cliffhanger for the end of the second chapter. I can already see it. That's all I've got for this one though, I'd be curious to see what you all think about it, and what your theory is on it. And if you want more content like this, just leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.